Hello traders from CMC Markets. This is Trevor Neal with the latest update from RRG Research. I'm recording this on the evening of 12th of June, Monday 12th of June. In this session, we're going to look at the current state of the US stock indices and look at the charts of them and also a quick rundown on the foreign exchange market in front of this very busy week for data releases and central bank activity. So let's have a look at the, what the market is indicating in front of these news releases. Now let's start by looking at this relative rotation graph of major stock indices versus uh, a benchmark of cash. So this is not versus an index like the MSCI world, it's not that, it's, it's uh, versus cash. So anything on the right hand side of the vertical here is in a relative uptrend versus cash and anything behind this uh, area is lagging. We also look at the direction, northeasterly being a good direction uh, because then it is moving easterly so moving, um, improving on a relative ratio basis and also with positive momentum. We're looking today at the US indices. So here we have the NASDAQ, here we have the S&P, here we have the Dow Jones Industrial Average and here we have the Russell 2000. And that is the order of things. Looking at the direction of the NASDAQ, it's heading strongly east. It's got a fairly long tail here, so it's moving quite quickly east, although it has slowed up a little bit at the, at the moment. East means improving on a relative basis. So the strength in this particular narrow index, and actually in it in itself, is uh, being pushed by few stocks. We, we know this and uh, we've discussed this before, um, and that is still the case. The S&P has got uh, more of a 45 degree um, uh, trajectory here, um, so it's doing well. It is behind the NASDAQ, but it's looking good. Now, it's going to be very interesting to look at the chart um, of that. The Dow has, has crossed around from uh, the lagging quadrant straight into the leading quadrant, so picking up there. The Russell 2000 has got a long tail, it, uh, so it's, it's swung around swiftly but it's still in the lagging quadrant. So it did look as, you know, begin to look as though it was sort of picking up some relative strength, but uh, seemingly not. Um, it is in, in the right direction, but it's way, way behind uh, the others, and it's not even above 100 on the R JDK RS momentum. So we'll go through these one by one, starting from the left on the RRG chart, the Russell 2000 index. Uh, we've got a series of lower highs in place here, a big area of, of resistance here, um, and it has come up and we've got some higher lows in place here, and the, uh, the MACD on this weekly chart has turned up, but there is resistance ahead, uh, principally um, at the trend line itself, uh, 1,931, and then the last lower high, which has defined the down uh, trend, is at 1,976. The MACD is improving, that is true. The RSI is also improving. It's looking better, but it's in a, a really um, a consolidation range and it has got uh, some serious resistance ahead of it. The Dow Jones Industrial Average, we have got really, I think, an ascending, ascending triangle in place here. We've got one, two, three, four highs at around uh, 34,500 and we've got rising lows in here. Uh, so that's a triangular shape and it's bullish. Rising lows, so the bull, every time it comes back, the bulls get more um, aggressive in their buying and, and pay up at a higher level. There's a great deal of commitment, therefore, to the uh, uh, Dow Jones at this level here, and uh, breaking that will, end, um, will turn uh, a lot of shorts into, into losses, and nobody has shorted at a higher level in recent times uh, since August. And, and so uh, it's very vulnerable to a sharp move up on the basis of short covering and relief from the fact that the Dow just can't struggle through that, uh, that level. 
Above us, we haven't got as much resistance, I don't believe, as we've got on the Russell 2000. Uh, where we've got that big, uh, large consolidation. We've got less of a consolidation there. I, I think there's potential here. Could be close. We're moving up. Uh, the MACD is is not strong. It's uh, kind of neutral, and the RSI is a little bit strong. A bit early, I think, uh, because we're quite far from the uh, th 34,000, let's say 500 level at the moment. But watch this very closely for potentially uh, quite an explosive move to the upside if we break up through the triangle. The S&P broke through that troublesome 44,200 level um, and then shot up to the next resistance level, which was at the September high, the August high um, at uh, 4,300. Um, and it's testing that right now. Is it going to break it? Well, the MACD is looking positive. This is a weekly chart, don't forget. And the gap is widening here. That's increasing upside momentum at this resistance level. The RSI is making a new high. That's a very strong message indeed. The resistance itself, I don't think is particularly uh, uh, strong. This looks very likely that it is going to break. And then the next resistance, which again, I don't think is very strong, is at 4,600. 4, so it, I think that uh, uh, the, this resistance level is about to be tested, and I think on balance, most likely successfully. And then the next jump could be quite substantial um, above the 4,600 level for the S&P. The Nasdaq is extremely strong, remains extremely strong after, after these uh, breaking from these 10,500 lows. A powder head broken up through the uh, 13,500 resistance here, which wasn't strong, but we've powered away from it and we're heading towards the next resistance, which again is not that strong, which is at 15,200. And then insight is the uh, November high um, up at 16,700. Um, it's it's going getting steeper in its climb, so it's getting more energy. The MACD gap is widening here. There's lots of upside power in this market, and the RSI is making new highs. It's strong as it gallops uh, towards this resistance level, which is in itself not that strong. So it looks to me that this has got legs being on the far right and pointing easterly on the RRG indicates that this outperformance that we're getting of the US indices by this particular index will be maintained. And now a look at the foreign exchange market. This is a weekly chart, RRG chart, of uh, the dollar and major uh, currencies versus the dollar. And something that should strike you immediately is we've got one currency heading northeasterly strongly and a currency heading southwesterly strongly. So Canadian dollar has uh, passed through now into the leading quadrant on the weekly uh, sampling, swung through quite quickly and it's heading northeasterly. This is something we featured in, in last week's um, uh, CMC uh, update and um, and so this situation continues this looks extremely good um, on the chart and what looks extremely bad and continuing to look extremely bad is is the Japanese yen if you wanted to do a pair Canadian dollar long versus the, the Japanese yen would be something worth considering um, the euro is easing back a bit uh, but it's still relatively strong the pound has been you know, surprising, <laughs> no, I shouldn't say this, but it has been strong and um, it's holding its position. This very short tail here is um, an indication that it's stable at uh, this position um, on on the right here uh, in, in the RS ratio. But the outstanding thing to observe is the, up, is the strength of the Canadian dollar, not yet the Australian dollar, but the Canadian dollar and the continued uh, weakness of the Japanese yen. I thank you very much indeed. I hope you have found this useful, this update useful. Um, it would be very interesting to see how the, this news affects these existing trends and some of them are quite strong. So even if the news is not in the favour of the trend, maybe the trend itself is stronger and the news will be worked out uh, relatively uh, quickly. But we'll see about that or maybe the news will accelerate the trends. Thank you very much indeed for listening. Um, I'm always honoured that you spend time with me. This is Trevor Neal signing off from London and wish you a good rest of the week and may the trend be with you.